We've come down to the Dory Shop for the launching of the Martha Seabury. And it's the first schooner that's been built here at the Dory Shop in, what, 34 30 years? 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> this guy's some kind of like kiss photographer. What is it? All right, I'm going to get started. Um, first of all, I'm supposed to say these things. Uh, welcome, honored guests. Okay, I got that. Visitors, oh, okay, supporters of the Dory Shop and the Working Waterfront of Lunenburg. That's this business here. Um, first of all, we, we don't have a lot of time, so we're going to rock it through this. Uh, these, are, I think, are a couple of amazingly beautiful schooners. We don't know when we're, we're going to need an owner for that one, and we'll finish that one up. But first and foremost, we need to recognize the builders of this fine craft. And we, I will be leaving people out because they're not on my list, and I don't remember things that well. But first of all, designer and master builder David Westergaard. <laughs> If you did something and I forgot to name you, just, well, you know, suck it up. Um, <laughs> absolutely, the main man, Bob Dares. <laughs> Tony Chaplin, in the interior. Beautiful job. Now I'm going to run through this. No clapping until I'm done really quick. Oliver Cody, Kyle Westergaard, Robert Cram, Danny Van Schelquick, Paul Bracken, Logan Livingston, Gerald LeBlanc, LeBlanc, as we say, James Green, Aaron Flanagan, Agnes Fournier, Gabriel St. Dennis, now known as Gabby, Gabby, <laughs> Eva, and I can't say her last name, she's from Finland, uh, Caitlin Shaw, and absolutely Jay Langford, as well as Kevin Wamba, all worked on this fine craft. While she did not swing in ads, um, this project <laughs> owes an enormous <laughs> amount of everything, heart, soul, and everything else to the incomparable Susan Corkman Greek. <laughs> I would like to invite the Honorable, Honorable Senator Wilford P. Moore to say a few words. Much. Captain Moreland, Mr. Kenny, Ms. Birdsall, Mayor Mawinney, wooden boat lovers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to participate in this exciting launch of the Martha Seabury. I wish to congratulate Dawson Moreland and Associates for building these two fine wooden schooners. My congratulations extend to Captain Moreland, uh, to Susan Corkman Greek, whom he's mentioned, the company's girl Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> Susan, you've been terrific keeping this project on time and on schedule, on budget, while the captain's been away. Um, and together with the others who've been supporting and investing in this project and recognizing the importance of, of it to, to Lunenburg. A special congratulations, of course, to the owner, uh, William Ollie Campbell, uh, who had the faith and the, uh, and the vision to have a, a schooner built for him here in Lunenburg. So I wish you, Ollie, uh, Martha Seabury, and all who sail in her fair winds. It's my hope, uh, Captain, that uh, Dawson Moreland Associates will continue this tradition of generations past and undertake other wooden boat building projects here in Lunenburg at the Dory Shop on this rejuvenated uh, waterfront. This enterprise is certainly a prime example of a Nova Scotian tradition that provides jobs, uh, stimulates the economy, and very most importantly gives hope to our youth to look homeward for employment opportunities. So again, congratulations, Cap, and uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Moore. This, the Honorable Gerald Kenny. Thank you, Dan. 
uh, invited dignitaries, uh, ladies and gentlemen, real pleasure for me to be here today as Member of Parliament for South Shore St. Margaret's. Of course, the town of Lunenburg has a, a tremendous shipbuilding heritage and, and history here. I would like to congratulate a, a few people. Certainly, I want to, I, I guess he's not Captain Billy Campbell yet, but he's about to be Captain mm -hmm. Billy Campbell. So I want to uh, I want to congratulate you on, on having this vessel uh, build here for your entire crew, for everybody who had anything to do with this vessel. Congratulations. It's great to see a wooden boat go back in the water in the Lunenburg waterfront. Fantastic. I do have one wooden boat story that's been passed down to, to my family, and I, I want to share it with you. And, Dan, you have to listen closely to this. The, the, uh, as Member of Parliament, of course, people call you up all the time, especially during a campaign. And during one of the campaigns, the head of Mr. Stevens, a very famous boat-building family in Lunenburg County, called me up. He lives in Chester. He originally from Tancook Island. He said, Mr. Kitty, I want you to come down and visit me. And I said, well, I'm in the middle of a campaign. I'll try to get in. He said, no, I want you to come down and visit me. I want to talk to you. So I went in, knocked on his door, went into his house. He said, is your grandfather Edward Keddy? I said, yes. He said, he used to run the sawmill in New Ross. I said, yes. He said, 1936, I went out to New Ross. I talked to your grandfather. I got all of the timber to build a small schooner. Would have probably looked something like this one. He said, I went fishing the next year. And that fall, when I finished up fishing, I finally got paid and went back and paid your grandfather for the lumber for building the boat. So, Dan, just remember that. You can go in the water. He'll be back next year to pay you. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone. The Honorable Pam Birdsall. Um, dignitaries, everyone who's gathered here to celebrate this amazing day. Probably a lot of you will remember December 2009 when we were all shivering and celebrating the laying of the, the keel. And it's quite an accomplishment to come to this point. She's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations to everyone. I know that we have very little time, so Dan's looking at me. So, wonderful day, and we're all here to celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you. Producers of Once and Again, 4400, quite a few bad movies made in India. Um, <laughs> some stuff that went straight to video. <laughs> the Rocketeer. Uh, AMC's The Killing, now that was a cool show. Who saw it? Awesome. And a really cool Dory movie about to be released this fall. Watch it, stand by. Um, and... Um, and the gang, and the, the, all these kids that help young people. But Ollie, come on up. Uh, thank you, Captain. I think. Um, and I, I'm glad that you already thanked all those folks because um, um, I, I would never get through that. I'm, it's going to be hard for me to get through this. Uh, it's a big moment. Um, and uh, I do, I do just, um, Captain already named everyone, but I want to thank um, Dave and Dan for making a dream uh, come true for me. And I want to thank my my grandma um, and I wish she could be here to see it. Uh, the launch. And I want to ask um, Maggie Ostler to uh, christen, christen my boat. Traditionally, uh, often, or some other boats anyway, uh, launch with champagne. But have you ever tried to break a champagne bottle? They're really strong. So last night we found a very thin-shelled uh, 
rum bottle. It was it was full last night. Um, it's not as full now. Now, you got to say, Maggie, you got to do this. Maggie, you got to say. I christen thee Martha Seabury. <laughs> okay, let's start doing this. Boat team away, tackle team. Uh,
If we're enough here, we could all wade in and push yeah, it out. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. Push, push. The thing is, I think you, you push it off the grave. You almost well, got off the cradle go back. We have to go and push the grave back. Right? Yeah. Make a line there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you, Cam? How are you? for letting me know about this. <laughs> it's quarter to one. 